Hey everyone, so in today's video I wanted to do a quick review and demo of the new Kaja Heart Melters lip gloss sticks. Lip gloss sticks have been kind of a thing now. In 2018 they started coming out and I started seeing them a lot more. Um, and then Kaja just released this product. So I wanted to jump on here and give you guys a quick review of the product. So if the review and demo ends up being helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I would love to have you back on my channel and we will jump right in. So I got mine in the shade Honey Bun and it's what I'm wearing today. I really, I really like this product for a few reasons. First of all, the idea of a lip gloss stick is really nice to me because it's something that you can just throw in your purse and just quickly apply like a normal lipstick. And it's also nice because you don't need a doe foot applicator. I know it's not everyone's preference. So I got mine in the shade Honey Bun and it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I really like the color range. There's definitely a lot more nude colors, but I wanted to try out one of the deeper colors because I often feel like it's a good tell if the formula is going to be nice because these colors end up being a little bit harder to formulate so I wanted to try out this color it's also a little bit more unique and I have to say I really enjoy the formula lip gloss I'm not sure if I really see this as a lip gloss just you know my personal opinion it's very balmy I see this more as a very pigmented lip balm with a nice shine uh, one thing that I do like about this is that, like a lip gloss, it really goes well on top of different lip colors. I find that if I have a lipstick on and I'm starting to find that my lips are getting dry, if the color's starting to fade, this immediately revives the look and ends up making my lips look a little bit more put together. And it's a really beautiful formula because it can, you know, mesh with other lip products very well. Some lip balmier products can't do that. So it has, you know, that quality of a lip gloss, but it also, to me, on the lips feels like a lip balm. In my opinion, it's not sticky at all. As for the longevity, I feel like this, especially this color, might have a little bit of trouble moving around on your lips. If you're eating a lot, it's not going to be the most um, low maintenance product, but with all of that being said, whenever I drink water with this or do any like normal sort of activities, if I'm just, you know, having water and talking normally, this wears very beautifully and it does leave behind a slight staining effect. So that's really nice because you don't want the product to fade awkwardly, but you also don't want a lip product like this to overtake your own lip color because you want it to be kind of a more everyday natural sort of look. So in that way, I do think that the formula is really nice. Personally, I don't love the applicator though. The idea, Kaja does a lot of cute packaging um, and I do enjoy, you know, the more whimsical take on makeup, but I don't think that this heart actually does a better job at applying the product. I think it would apply much easier with just a normal curved or even a teardrop applicator without the curve in the heart center. Just my personal opinion, I think that it would just be a little bit easier, but then again, you know, that's the kind of cute aspect of the product. So if that is their way of differentiating the product and making people want to buy it, well, I understand why they did that. Let's jump into the demo so you can see how it does apply to the lips. So I'm not wearing any lip product over this one. Again, I would recommend you wear a lip product under it. That's actually my favorite way to wear this product, but just on its own, it's really pretty. It makes your look look way more put together. It really glides over any dry patches that you have. I will say that when I first used it, I wasn't clicking up the product enough. And I felt like, again, with this sort of applicator, I just wasn't getting enough product onto the lips and it did look a little bit dry or just the formula really wasn't translating well. 
So make sure that you're clicking up enough product to actually get the product seamlessly on the lips so that it's a more even coat because I think upon first impression, you might think that the product is a little bit patchy. But I don't find the color to be patchy at all, even with a darker color like this one. And overall, if you're looking for a more opaque lip gloss, I think this is actually a better way to go. For me, a lot of opaque lip glosses can look just strange on my lips. I'm just personally not the biggest fan of them. I just find that they look like they're sitting on top of my lips rather than blending in with the, like a lip liner on my lips or whatever. I, I just feel like this to me is way more my speed. I think it blends into the edges of my lips a lot better and it gives me, you know, that shiny effect. Overall, I really, really like it. I do wanna say quickly that the only drawback to this if you do click the product up, it doesn't go back down. So if you overclick it, then you are running the risk of, you know, getting the cap a little bit messy and losing product. But with this, I don't find that that really happens. When you click up the product, it is so little that comes out. I think it's hard to overdo it. I think the, the control is nice with this clicking mechanism. I wanna zoom you in a little bit closer to how it looks on my lips right now because I have been wearing it for a while. As you can see, it just looks nice. It looks very plush on the lips, but still effortless. It's a really nice everyday lip product and I really enjoy it for that reason. I definitely want to try out other shades. Kinda wish I had gone with a little bit more of a nude color, but to be honest, it's hard to find a lip color like this in this formula. This does remind me a little bit of the L'Oreal um, the tinted lip balms that they just recently came out with. I'll leave it linked down below because I can't think of the name right now. But this is even more glossy than that, which I actually like. And this applicator, even though the heart shape is kind of annoying to me, the applicator is better as well. So I hope that this demo and the review was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And I will hopefully see you in my next one.